person i can't tell you how many times i reshot this intro i've attempted to do this a couple of times before not just one time but i've thought about doing it a lot more times than that you can go see my previous attempt which i did a couple of years ago but my hair is a lot longer now and i feel much better corona happened and like i've been scared for my life so i felt like it's now or never and uh, yeah i mean i've never been bored living my life so i don't know maybe they, maybe you will get something interesting to watch while you're eating lunch or something i don't know <laughs> so yeah i've always been interested in like 16th century 17th century garments not just that particularly but like structured garments and it's always really fascinating to figure out how to make these things so i kind of want to make something inspired by like this um but i want to make it look more contemporary i kind of also little bit want to feel like this cuz like she's in a forest <laughs> and she's like dancing and her hair has this bounce but yeah so um let's do it let's go karte bro karte bro start by making a sketch and then take your measurements how long you want it your waist your bust and then you divide that measurement in half the front and the back ke liye now you find a nice thick sturdy fabric to do this mark out where you want the top to sit on a piece of newspaper and then i had to transfer it onto a bigger paper cuz i picked a really small one yeah so you basically want to visualize where you want what part to sit on your body ki like wo point kahan aana hai where you want it to like end and things like that like i said now you have the front measurement and the back measurement now of your waist and your bust if you're really booby like you can shift a couple of inches on the back to the front to accommodate all the saman and i cut this piece out it was way too small evidently so i cut out another one even this one was way too small and i decided i had to add a couple of inches on the side but the problem was it didn't match my sketch and look at how it turned out it's huge it's freaking huge and like i had used some mats while doing this but my mats was really terrible but i didn't anticipate that it was this bad but like it's only a mock up i think this is how it's supposed to look when it's on the wall ha but it's only a mock up okay so if it's like roughly around the size you want it it's fine cuz we're going to edit it later on if you still want to do the whole measurement thing you can do it i mean yeah do it like this you should roughly end up with three pieces that are shaped like this cut it out even if it looks totally wrong <laughs> it's fine we'll edit it later now you have to trust the process ha huh? and then cut out two two layers of everything for all the pieces and so along the dotted lines remember to cut grooves along curved hems where you want to like edges where you want to turn it inside out and make sure you push out all the corners really nicely nicely neatly karna ekdam crisp kadak edges you want so like you don't waste any of the fabric inside the thing itself mark out your boning channels or you sew along the dotted lines and along the bottom so the boning doesn't slip out and you make sure all the edges edges align nicely so baby so baby chest to or chest to look at him run oh <laughs> poo poo i put it on unfortunately these corners are way too high stitch along the line here Yeah, so the editing happened. I was really happy with my stitching. I was like, mm. Mm. "Client meeting. Watch my mom make some pickle." And instead of the straight up one, I turned it into a diagonal across. A regular plastic boning. You can buy this on Amazon. Put all the boning pieces. And remember to like round the edges of the boning a little bit so it doesn't like poke through the fabric. This is what you'll end up with. Now you cut a random back shape that looks a bit like this. Remember, you can edit it later. It's on your mark. Or you can like trace a kurta or a blouse that fits you, and sew the side part onto the front pieces. And now you want to mark the center and do some laundry. Hang out with your cat. It's two o'clock now. By the time it's <coughs> In the next one and a half hours, I'm gonna be done with the mock-up and start plotting the final one. <laughs> She got stuck doing other stuff. Yeah, now add the boning channels. I recommend after finishing the thing to add a couple more. 
Yeah. This is the most important part, okay? Like, this is where you do the fitting. Now you pin it onto yourself. Don't like pin it. You understand? Yeah. And like, don't cut away the excess fabric. Just mark it out with a pen. Ki kaha pe andar lana hai where you wanna like make it tighter, where you wanna make it looser, etc., etc. Looser. Yeah. <laughs> you can trim the armholes. Don't cut out the extra part that you see on the right side of the ruler. The part that I'm folding over. We're gonna need that later. Trim out the armholes exactly how big you want it. Pin it back onto yourself. Just check one last time if it fits you. Take an old waste piece of fabric. See how long you want the straps to be. If it's looking cute, cut off the extra. Clean your room. Play with shoes. I'm gonna stitch that and shape that properly. I love getting visitors in my room, especially these type of visitors. I feel so happy, like <clears throat> a little bit of outside is coming inside because normally I would have gone outside to look for these guys. I'm gonna walk in on my arm. Hi, sweetie. It's the Amazon rainforest. It was all fine till he tried to climb inside my nail. It's time to work on the final now. Today, it gets transformed. And now you want to trace it onto a piece of paper. And Try to talk to a friend while doing this step, including all the editing you did in the previous section. You should end up with a couple of pieces like this. This is the inside fabric where the boning is going to be. Just trace it out, cut two to everything. Don't throw the scraps away. This is the outside fabric. It's really dirty because I had to take it off a softboard. I'm running out of fabric. But it had a hem. It's, it's quite big. So if I open it out, I'll get two inches of nice new fabric. So while past Prakriti is opening those stitches, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Prakriti. I'm a textile designer. I'm all sorts of things. I'm an older sister. I'm a human being. And basically, what I'm trying to say is, I, for as long as I can remember, I've always, always, always wanted to have a TV show of my own. I don't know. I just, I just really wanted one. And um, for some reason, I thought that by now, it would have just happened to me, but it didn't. So I have a bunch of free time now, this lockdown, quarantine, coronavirus, 2020 situation. I decided to like take matters into my own hands. And I guess this is the pilot episode of that TV show. So now you want to trace it out onto your final fabric now that you have a nice fabric. And cut it out. These are all the pieces you'll end up with. The 3-3 three, three is um, two of the lining piece, two lining piece and one back piece, one back piece. So over the boning channels. Nicely, neatly, attach the straps to the back part and then press it down. You'll end up with a really nice, sexy, neat piece of fabric. If you really care, like a lot, try to align the print of the fabric also. Cut the boning pieces, put it inside, and this is what you'll end up with. Now we're almost done, huh? Now iron all the pieces, stitch it all together of the outside part, keep them right sides together, sew along the dotted line, pin them together so it doesn't move. Again, remember what I said about curved edges. Turn it inside out. So, over the boning channel. And now is the tricky part, huh? Now you have the boning pieces inside. After I turn it inside out, you carefully sew over the boning. On the boning ka is side and the boning ka us side. Neatly, it tam piyaste karna. And then press all the edges down neatly and usko istri kar dena. iron it down ek bar. And you do the stitching and you're going to end up with a piece that looks like this. Okay. And then you sew all the pieces together, the back piece and the front piece. And you'll have your giant bat shaped garment. My video was gone, so here are photos manage kar lena. And uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. It's almost done. Yeah, and the part I told you not to cut off. It's only going to reinforce the place where you have the grommets so your fabric doesn't tear off when you do the lacing. You can lace it however you want. It's ready. I 
I'm quite happy with how it turned out actually. I mean, I will put a couple more pieces of boning, but she's cute. She fits good. I tried it on with a dress and on a shirt. I like this too actually. Hi, thank you for watching. I know I missed out a lot of details, but I had so much fun making that video and um Leave me some feedback. We'll try not to take it personally. And yeah, tell me what you'd like to see me make in another video. Guess we're doing that now.